Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story, and today I'm with Andy. Andy, good to see you. What's your last name? I'm McConus. Andy McConus, and uh, first of all, we're celebrating your birthday yesterday. We are. And what better way to celebrate it than on My Car Story with Lou? So, as your new year starts off, what's the car you brought today? I brought my 1970 uh, Jaguar E-Type Coupe. And the E-Type you shared was the Series 2. It's a Series and, 2, correct. And, and we're going to see the cues on this one on why they call it a Series 2. So right from the back, one of the things you were sharing with me is the tail lights. Correct. The tail lights are larger than a Series 1 and they're below the bumper instead of on top. And it also has some additional marker lights on the sides. And similarly, the, when we get to the front, the front has a larger turn signal lights and markers there as well. Now you shared you have had this one since how long? Uh, 2007, so almost 12 years now. So a little bit of a member of the family. Definitely. And you have never had this car to a um, Jaguar dealer. You like to do all the work yourself. I have done all the work. I mean, I've, uh, I had sent water pump and alternator out to be rebuilt, but I did the the R&R. &R mm -hmm. And uh, I'm a hands-on guy. I like to work on my own on my own cars. And I like it when uh, people come up and ask me who my mechanic is for advice, and I say, well, that's, I do my own work. <laughs> so. And I want to feature as well these rims. A lot of times when you see a Jaguar, you're looking at wire rims. But I actually enjoy these. Yeah, this is um, what they call a turbo disc wheel. They were an option on the Series 2. And you'll see them on, on the Series 3 as well and some of the sedans into the 70s. But uh, they're fairly unusual in my experience when I go to a show. You know, sometimes there'll be 30, 40 E-types and this will be the only one with the, with the disc wheels. Which is pretty cool. Now, and I recently put those tires on too. I think they're pretty close to what was original. I have an, an original spare. And now here as we look at the front, now you shared that you were always a car guy growing up and you fell in love with the shape of this. And there's those big marker lights that we can see. Yeah, and also the, uh, the opening for the radiator is larger on a Series 2 as well because they were having overheating problems. It also has dual fans. And has that, uh, that must, now you drive this one, so that must have fixed that problem. Yes, I, uh, I've never had it overheat. Uh, my, the uh, previous owner told me though, if the fans aren't working, don't drive it because it will. <laughs> The fans don't run all the time. They're electric. They come on with the temperature switch. And it has the wonderful eyeliner. I mean, that's really classy. Yeah, a lot of collectors prefer the covered headlights of uh, glass covered headlights of the Series One, but I like the looks of these. And one of the things I noticed too with this long hood is this little vent back here, which is a little more air extraction. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So this one you found in uh, Michigan. Yes. And you were look may I open it? Yes. You were lucky enough to get the go ahead. You're you're lucky It's it's an English car so it has a little trick, right? Yes. All right, there we go. <laughs> and clearly if you saw the video, I'm not short, but Andy's awful tall and this is a pretty tight little space. I want to show the instrumentation. Yeah. Well, as you, as you notice, it's comfortable once you're inside, but I keep telling my wife we have to improve our graceful entries and exits. <laughs> this is one of the two hood openers right, that's, that's on both sides. Moment, so. And I'll just show the instrumentation. You know, one thing I always enjoyed about these cars, and although we're we got this piece out for service right now. Is I love the toggle switches. It makes you feel like you're in an airplane. Yes. And the choke, the hot cold run. There's a little handle to hold on to. I thought that was great. And you're right, deep seating. Now was this this is an aftermarket, correct? You know, uh, it's hard to tell. It looks I, almost period correct. It, I think it might be uh, an original installation. I think, from what I understand, these were not shipped with radios, or some of them were not shipped with radios. So, I've, it's not. 
provable to be correct, but it is you're correct. And it works. So. Okay, and I just want to show people just your view out the back. And let's open the uh, the trunk compartment because it has an interesting way. How do you open it first? There's a handle. There's a little handle right behind where the handle right is. behind the door. It's this chrome thing right here. Okay, so here's our handle. Okay, go ahead. So then you just pull the handle. And it pops the trunk. And then it opens. The hinge has a little thing you push in. So let me show people that. Spare tires underneath there. All opened up. Like so. Great this, stuff. I usually have this panel down. This folds down. Like so. so. The owner's manual says that's for extra cargo capacity and you leave it up. <laughs> but I usually have it down, but yeah. it seems like most drivers do. Alright, we'll close that up. And let's take a look under the uh, under the hood, shall we? Under the bonnet. Bonnets. I'm going to go on this side just because we've got the, uh, the light hitting it properly. So I just want to show the suspension here. Because this thing is uh, engineered like an airplane. Yes. And there's your, uh, there's your two fans that we were talking about. I also noticed the champion on top of the spark plugs. And here's our fuel for our carburetors. Strombergs. Do you find it easy to work on? You know, certain things are are hard to access uh, just by packaging, but um, it's it's pretty basic. Um, I want to just get you. There you go. Come on, look at me for a second. There we go. So being more used to American cars, it's interesting that things on the British car are done differently. Uh, different, you know, ways to approach uh, the same function. Yeah. So it's been it's been pretty neat to to learn about it. What's your reaction when you're driving it? What are people looking at? What is, what is, what's their reaction, I should say? Well, it's funny. You know, I have an American car, classic car, too. And I think it gets more looks out on the road and more acknowledgement. I think people might think you're snooty if you're a, a Jaguar driver. But <laughs> but you'll get some really enthusiastic people. And then when we're at an event like this or a Cars of Coffee, something like that, um, it the car really gets a lot of attention. And I think it's the color. The color was a really real selling point for me. The British Racing Green. Let's go to the other side of the engine. I want to show how that looks too from the side. It goes all the way down. There's all of your information. Yeah, it's all numbers matching. You have your engine number there. And this the this number. might be the first time you're actually able to read all of this. <laughs> It'll be the size of your TV. <laughs> all right. And I sent out for, for the build record from Jaguar II, which didn't uh, give me a lot of information about its history. It just, I mean, this was originally a U.S. market car, but I don't know where it was sold in the beginning. Noticing this for the heater. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's your, you can see the, the fins for a heater and it comes right off the front. You can see that there. Wonderful. Okay, well, it's time to fire it up. Let me get on the other side just because we've got a little more, a little more action on this side. Let me get 
get the exhaust. Don't, don't step on it just yet. Can you step on the brakes for a moment? Can you step on the brakes for a second, Andy? Oh. There we go. Thank you. Big tail lights. Alright, give it a rev. Let me just show how that linkage works. The fans shut off. Show how that linkage works. We'll shut that down. Very good. We'll, we'll close that uh, bonnet. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. Click the like button. Our British racing green Jaguar. Andy, a treat, and uh, you watch the channel, you were telling me. I do. So it was great to have you on the channel, and I'm looking forward to uh, seeing people's reactions. Thanks for sharing your car with us. Oh, thanks for having me.